Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with the next AutoCAD video. Now for this video, I will be showing you how to draw a square equal in area to a given rectangle. And it says that the first thing we're going to do is to draw the rectangle of sides 40 millimeters and 90 millimeters and produce BC to X. So we're going to draw this rectangle here and this line BC. We're just going to produce it, bring it out to X. Um, this is no specific distance, just bring out BC um any distance that you think is convenient so we're going to do that all right so the rectangle is 90 and 40 all right so let's do that so i'm going to select rectangle here i'm going to click a place to start and i'm going to type 90 comma 40 enter and there we have our rectangle so i'm just going to produce this this line here i'm just going to bring this out a bit let me turn on ortho it's going to bring this out a bit to about here no specific distance all right so let me just label this the same way it's labeled in the drawing all right so let me just select a text click on the drop down arrow and select multi-line text click a place to start create a little rectangle then click again type the letter a i'm going to scale it up make it um bigger about twice the size so i'm going to click on a and type scale good i'm going to click here and type two enter and i type two because i want to make it twice the size so i'm going to change the color by clicking on the a then click here and then change the color so now i can move that from here and i can bring it down here so let me just turn off ortho since i um ortho only allows you to move things um horizontally or vertically so let me turn off ortho so let me just bring this here then i can copy this and bring it to the different points good all right good so in the drawing it's labeled a b c d and then x over there okay so this is a this is d over here we have c D is here and then this is here is X nice all right so then it says that the next thing we're going to do it says using C as center and radius CD so C is the center and the radius is from C to D which is right here all right it says draw an arc to meet CX at E so right here good so we're going to come here let me just select a circle you can also use arc but using circle is it's a bit simpler all right so i can click here and here so now here we have that so this right here will be e so let me just click on c and copy it from there and bring it over here and let me just change this from c to e Alright, good. So let me just make this a different color so it's not as bright. Alright, nice. Good. Alright, so with that done now, with that done, the next thing it says is that we are supposed to bisect BE at F and draw a semicircle. Okay. So BE, right here, this is BE. We're going to bisect it at F and draw a semicircle. So what that means is this. This we're going to select a circle. I'm going to um, select E, point E to be the center of the circle. Then I'm going to draw that circle to any convenient radius that is um, about greater than half the length of BE. So let's make this about 90. I think 90 is good. 93, 93. Make it about 93. All right, so then I'm going to select this, click on this circle, and I'm going to select the copy tool, and I'm going to copy it from the center, which is here at E, and bring it to D. Good. So now, I'm going to draw a line from here to where the two circles meet up there, to where the two circles meet down there. Good. And now, just like that, we have, we have point f right here all right so 
So let me just click on the B and say copy. Copied from here. Bring it across to here. And make this F. Alright, so um I didn't have to draw the circles, I could have just um I could have just drawn a line from E to B and then select the midpoint on the line. But I just want to show you how you go about constructing it. Um, different from just um, finding the points based on the uh, midpoints and so on and so forth. So let me just change this to a darker color. Alright, good. And it says that from F we're going to draw a semicircle. So I'm going to come here. Circle is at F. Bring that to B. And I'm going to draw that semicircle there. Like that. Good. Alright, so let me just change this semicircle. Alright, nice. And it says that the next thing we're going to do is so we just do this semicircle here. And it says that here um, produce CD to G. So CD will be produced to G right here. On the semicircle, CG is one side of the required square. And once you get one side of the square, we can get the other sides of the square. Alright, so let's see. So we're going to extend this. Let me just draw a line from here. I'm going to draw a line from C. And I'm going to bring that line all the way up. So let me turn on auto. All the way up to here. And I'm going to trim it. TR. Enter, enter. For trim. Or you can select the trim tool here. And I'm going to put that right there. Good. So with that done, I know that this um, is the length of one side. So I can... I can do a number of things. I can either copy this or I can just measure. So let me go utilities and select measure and select distance and see what this is. What, what's the length of this line? That's 60. So that means that the other lines are 60 as well. So I can just select a line, come here and just type 60 and then 60 down here. This would automatically be um, 60 as well. Good. And just like that, I have my square. So I'm just going to select the hatch over here. And I'm going to hatch the square. Select the solid hatch. So that you can see the square um, exactly. So this would be the square here. Alright, good. So let me just move this from here. And that is how you would go about drawing a square equaling area to a rectangle. So there we go. Alright. So that's how you go about drawing a square equaling area to a rectangle. So this is the square right here. Alright. So I hope you learned something from this video. I hope that the video helped. Um, please subscribe for more technical drawing and autocad content. Do have yourself a wonderful day.